Jeez, man, my phone's going off. Everybody's getting out of town. The governor put an evacuation order out. It's raining bad. Yeah, man, this is gonna be a mess in the morning. Buster, Buster, get in here, buddy. You're gonna get struck by lightning. Oh, he's still out there? I think he likes the rain. He's actually smiling. I just looked at my phone, boss man. The weatherman said 15 inches of rain in the next six hours. That's called for a flash flood. Well, hopefully the house holds up. There's the water down there. If it rises enough, we'll be flooded in. That's why I brought the UTV, but hopefully nothing crazy happens and the water stops raining and it's it's a better day, but I'm going to bed. Let's pray for a, a nice morning. Well, thank goodness it quit raining and the water rose quite a bit, but obviously not enough to get to the house, which I'm very thankful for because we're getting calls and reports. Lots of flooding, lots of damage, and a lot of people we got to go rescue. So that's our job as police officers. We're going to go serve and protect. I think we're going to be using this thing today because it is a beast and the air intake is fairly high. And obviously this thing is lifted like three feet up. So this will be awesome. All right, man, what are the reports doing? Sounds like it's crazy. Yeah, man, we are going to have a busy day ahead of us. And I'm actually thinking, you know that boat that's in my pool? Yeah, the $100,000 Mastercraft? Yeah, so I don't know how we're going to do it, but we got to get the thing out of there because it might be one of the best things for us to use today to drive around town. Holy cow, guys. This is the bottom of the driveway, so we're going off-road today. We're not taking the main road. That is the main road down there, and as you can tell, it's all water. So we're going to stay off-road, stay on the high ground. Man, I'm not making it through here. Oh, geez, the bridge is flooded. All right, man, jump um, in. Oh, just jump in with me. Let's okay, go. yeah, no way I'm making it through. Here we go. I don't even know why I did have you jump in with me first, but let's get to your house. The side by side should be doing good. All right, we made it. Here's boss man's place, the mansion, and we got to get this boat out of this pool and onto a trailer and down into town. All right, you ready to hear? I'll be driving. Trust me, I, th this will, uh, this should do a good job. All right, I'm going to lift it on there. That's boss man's towing rig. That thing is great. Well, that thing's going to come in handy today. That's for sure. But look at his trailer. It's 45 degrees. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, looks good. We got our strap down. Good to go. And Bossman, I think just follow me and I'll kind of make sure you don't get somewhere where you can't tur get turned around. Okay, sounds good. All right, check this out, guys. Oh, the gas station is flooded deep. Oh, there's already water here. Dang it. Man, this is not looking good. I thought we were just going to have a bit of spots that were going to be flooded, but no, it's everywhere. All right. Let's, uh, let's see here. Just hold up, hold up. We might have to drop the boat or we might not. Let's see how far it goes. All right, man, it's time to drop the boat. This is it. This is how deep it gets. Okay. Last night, the governor issued an evacuation order and a lot of people left, especially in town. So that's good. Most things are actually businesses, so not that many people live in town, but some people still could get caught. You're good, boss man. You are bloody good, man. I'm shoulder deep here. There we go, and we're off. Boss man, you're good to go. Yeah, this is crazy. My depth monitor is reading. We are five feet depth. Holy smokes, that's not good. All right, guys, I am on the main highway right now. I, I There's rails to my side, so like over to my right, the water is very deep. All right, Spencer, I'm going to go find another area and see if I can help people out. We got to just divide and conquer. That works. I'm going to be bringing everybody that I rescue probably back to the UTV. If anybody needs medical attention, I'm probably going to have to call you because we're stretched thin here. All right, guys, now we're looking for people who are stranded. We've gotten a lot of calls, a lot of businesses. Some places have generators and power. See, okay, there's some people walking there. But we just got a call that somebody is stranded and needs our help. So we're going to go get them here. It's a pretty small relative area that is flooded. So we should be able to get everybody out. Oh, I see somebody. Here we go. Up and over their sidewalk. All right, man, you're going to have to get a little wet here. I can't get too close to you. Here we go. Come on, come on. I'll, I'll grab you up and over. There we go. Nice. All right. Just pop a squat. Stay dry. Here's a blanket. Here's some. Here's a bottle of water, too. All right. Just hold on back there. If you see anything like a tree floating in our way, just let me know because I do not want to hit anything. This is the nice boat. All right, you're all good. You just were stranded there, ran out of food. I understand, man. Yeah, it sounds like the water isn't receding as quick as they thought. All right, man, go ahead. Jump off the front here. I'll give you a hand. There you go. All right, have a good one, man. A couple shops are still open. They're feeding people. One of the big things, too, we have a few cases of hypothermia because it's not super warm out and people get wet and then they get windy, they get cold, and, and that's not good for you, so... Right now, that was our only call, but we're going to stay out here and see if anybody else needs our help and they just don't realize they need to call us. While I'm out here, let's go check on the DQ. My new Dairy Queen I just bought and cleaned up the other day. That's probably complete. Oh, there she is. Yep, that's all on the same grade. Dang it. 
literally just put 125 grand in i think i have insurance flood insurance check that out guys this isn't good i'm literally driving about in front of my dairy queen this is crazy those those electric car charging stations i'm sure those don't work right now all right sounds like there's a lady on the roof at smitty's which is right this red building on the oh well there she is i didn't see her there hey ma'am ma'am okay I, I got you i got you all right what we're gonna do ma'am is i'm coming underneath don't want to hit the building break 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 all right yep just step on my shoulders it's okay how much do you weigh okay 200 that's a lot of weight okay shoulders got it okay got you in all right just stay there here is a blanket oh you're freezing uh here's a warm bottle of water i guess i put it by the engine it's smart you didn't go into the water people are saying some of it is electrified some people are getting shocked all right ma'am go ahead step to the front yep nice and easy it's not too big of a jump there you go okay yep soup line is right up there on the left have a good one there we go another person rescued that was nice she was super nice she was uh kind of shaken up and cold and all that stuff so we got her taken care of though all right let's stay out on patrol and not hit any the biggest thing i think i'm gonna hit is a fire hydrant i've seen a couple and i've came really close to hitting them well it's been an hour or two and i just looked at the depth monitor and we're about touching the ground boss man radio in radio in i need you with pickup and trailer west side of main street and the water's getting too low for the boat starting to scrape okay okay i'll make my way over i'm a little bit of a ways away so you're gonna have to give me a sec all right all good i'll lower i'll raise the motor the prop as high as it can go but it's coming down pretty quick which is good news yeah man adjust that trim as much as you can uh all right we're doing it that way okay yeah man what did you want me to do i thought we were gonna use the road as a boat ramp uh-oh. Hey. Uh, I don't think you're able to get on that, man. Careful. All right. Re reposition it, dude. The water's going down every second. Okay, okay. Just messing around. Okay, try getting on man. this. Oh, it just hit the curb. Oh, that Come sounded on, terrible. Man. You know how much money this boat terrible. cost me? I was literally lined up. If you would have just went down the road, it would have been fine. So this is on you, you man. You should have specified. Well, you should have used your brain. Here we go. Yeah, if I use my brain, you wouldn't be driving my boat. All right, it's coming on. Drop it down. All right, done. Get out of here. All right. Don't get stuck, dude. What are you doing? How would I get stuck? Have you seen how lifted my truck is? Okay, then why were we using the boat in the first place? Because it's more fun. And also, people trust someone driving a boat in the water. You know, like, they think, like, oh, my gosh, you're so funny. You're so relatable. Versus someone driving a truck like this, it can be a little intimidating. I'll talk to you yeah. later. I got to make a few more rescues. I got to go grab the UTV, too. Where's that at? Did you jump off when I was in motion? Yeah. What a guy. Okay, here, I'll drive you to the UTV. You, you are a very bad passenger. Did you strap down the boat? If you're going this through this deep of water, it might start to rise and come off the trailer. Man, it's, it's, it's good. It's good. It, it's weighted enough. You'll be fine. All right, what were you doing this whole time, boss man? What was I doing? I was helping people out. Nice. How many people did you save? I saved four people. Well, four? save, I don't know. Save is kind of like a strong word to use, but I, I helped out. Yeah, yeah. People are better off now than they were before. Well, that's a good way to look at it. Yeah, I saved uh, just two. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought, and most people just helped each other out. Oh, well, that's good. It's good when the community gets along. And that also means maybe, you know, we've been, we've been doing good to the town. Everyone's kind of feeling more like a community since we've moved here. That's right. Well, the water's down quite a bit. If you remember, we had the UTV all the way up here. Now the water's all the way down here. And again, I was starting to hit the boat on the water. So maybe a John boat would have been a smarter move, man. Those only go in like eight inches. Yeah, well, I don't got one of those. You just got a nice Mastercraft. Well, can't win them all. Are you putting it back in the pool then? Oh, of course, man. Where else would it go? All right, you need help with that or you're good? Yeah, sure. Here, come help me out. All right, I'm good. I, I got to do some stuff at the station. Okay. I'm going to go check on the used car, car dealership real quick, see if that got any flood damage. I'm not too sure if it did or didn't because it kind of sits in a low spot compared to all the ground around it. So maybe some runoff came in and kind of flooded the shop floor, but obviously not as bad as downtown. Look at that right there. That's pretty cool to look over the bridge. Once it's down, we'll be able to compare it, but that is up so much more. Look at that. The whole valley's flooded. I think Jeremiah was here. I texted him this morning and asked if he could go check up on the shop and see if we needed anything. It looks like he got some fans going, opened the doors. Looks like some water damage, but nothing crazy. Well, I'm going to head back up to the station, do some paperwork, and make sure everybody's still good. Be on call. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash the like button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Yeet.